guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, so today's video is about New York. So it's about my packing for New York. I'm the worst packer in the world. It's gonna be a second part where you actually get to see our trip to New York and see if the outfits that I planned for each day were actually the outfits that I wore. So without further ado, let's do a little vlog style. Something I'm not good at, but let's get started. <laughs> foremost if you're already subscribed to my channel I just want to say thank you so very much if you are not yet subscribed be sure to hit that subscribe button that notification bell that way you won't miss out on any videos look I got you in a little bed so she's not like laying on the floor although ugh, half the time she does lay on the floor all right so we took a recently uh, if you follow me on Instagram you know that we recently took a four-day trip to New York City. It was a surprise for my son. He had no clue. My husband picked him up early. He had a town car waiting for us. His bag's packed and he's like, what's happening? <laughs> I'm like, take a shower. Here's your clothes. Let's go. Um, so that was pretty fun and he had a fantastic time. But it's not about that. We're going to talk about packing. I'm the worst packer in the whole entire world. I always overpack, but this time around I said I'm literally, um, first of all, something you should know about me, I'm a big huge planner. So I don't do well because I suffer from anxiety. I don't do well with like a whole spur of the moment thing. You know, um, that doesn't mean that we can't be doing something and then we might, you know, I, I'm okay with that, but like I've got to, I don't want to wait two hours to eat. I don't want to, you know, stand in line for three hours to go to a museum, stuff like that. So I had planned the days accordingly. And uh, we were going to arrive around 2.30 on Friday and leave around 12.30 on Monday. And uh, we chose a town car because we're only an hour and 10 minutes from uh, an hour 10 hour 20 from uh, where we stayed which is the JW Marriott uh, Essex which is right across the street from Central Park I do not like a lot of noise I don't like to concrete jungle let's put it that way so I figured we'd get the best of both worlds and I would stay there again 100% second video I'll tell you all about it you'll get pictures and everything so um, anyways, I started uh, a few days uh, in advance, so I'm just going to jump to some vlogging that I did uh, in preparation for a vacation because, you know, I make sure my hair is colored, I make sure I do my derma flash, mask, all of that stuff. So I'm just going to stop talking and I'm going to start vlogging, sorta, and I'm the worst at it, but I'm going to let you see what it did. and. I'll come back. Good morning, guys. All right, so I'm gonna try vlogging. I suck at this. I'm just gonna say, worst vlogger in the world. But we're gonna try it. I'm gonna vlog our vacation. So where are we going? Well, you'll find out. Uh, so, and it's someplace that my son has no clue where we're going. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't even know we're leaving. Uh, my husband's gonna pick him up early from school. So I thought that I would share with you, well, first of all, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, of course I am. I think it's sinuses, I'm about to sneeze. Um, got my echinacea tea to perk me up for this trip. I am a planner. <laughs> um, look what came in, by the way, the big thing, Atacha. Let's look at it, because it's supposed to be gorgeous. And um, I, uh, I, am, I literally have one last application of the little trial size, so I am gonna fill this. So what I thought I would do with this video, just so you know, is just kind of give you a, it's two days before our trip, and so I'm gonna show you what I do leading up to the trip, how I pack for the trip, and then what the trip was all about. Oh yeah, so pretty. Okay, well, I can get rid of all of this, and super cute. Oh, I love how they put the little spatula right at the top. Look at that. That's great, because I always, you know, I have a million of those little spatulas, but they're laying all around. All right, so the first thing I'm actually gonna do, and you're gonna go, what? I, we are going someplace, and because we're going someplace, I am gonna take a COVID test. I'm gonna have everyone take one before we leave, um, because I think it's, you know, the proper thing to do, because um, I, even though I know it's allergies, um, I could possibly have, you know, a 
COVID and not know. I mean, that's the whole idea of how this thing has spread so crazily. And um, I would never want to inadvertently affect, you know, infect anyone um, for sure uh, on our trip. And of course, I don't want to go anywhere sick. Um, so, so uh, anyways, I'm gonna do a super fast COVID test. Um, that's the beauty of these little deal and it's like literally every one of them is a little bit different but they're kind of all the same um, and swirl it around and then you know squeeze it out and I have a little garbage by me by the way uh, and then put the little top on and then we're just gonna squeeze a few dots into the little this little thing here four dots it literally two three four boom done okay great Alexa set a timer for 15 minutes. I'm gonna move this out of the way. 15 so minutes. Taking, so now we're nice and full again. Well, three quarters full. Um, I'm gonna take that, but I will show you, I'll pack uh, all of that stuff. Um, starting tomorrow night, leading into, like I gotta hide from Matthew. I gotta pack his stuff without him knowing. Literally have my outfits broken out. Um, so I have a little list here of all the outfits. And then also, because we're not taking our vehicle, there are things that I have to remember. Like, because in my car, I carry Lysol and hand sanitizer and masks and all that, so, and first aid kit and all of that. So I have to remember to put all that together. Um, and COVID tests, which, by the way, that's what I was gonna tell you. USPS, for those of you that don't know, you can go right onto their website and they send you two uh, kits, five tests in, each kit for free. So I'm gonna take a box with us just in case. Um, I've got new lashes. So I sort of start to be like, okay, I'm gonna take this, this, you know. But I have um, a case for my serums. I have a case for my makeup. So I will show you that. While well, I'm doing it though, I'm gonna put my sunscreen on because I'm not putting makeup on for the next two days. Because tomorrow I will, like I'm gonna be all over the place. See, this is why I'm a horrible vlogger, horrible. Um, but because uh, tomorrow I'm going to, um, I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow and then I'm going to do the um, Derma Flash and then I'm going to do a City Beauty Skin Perfect or City Beauty uh, Illuminating Mask and all of that, getting myself ready. I also have now put my hand cream up here as well as downstairs. Um, so I'm putting it on twice a day um, instead of just once. Okay, Alexa just went off and we have a negative. All right, you guys, I'm running around like a lunatic, bringing stuff up from downstairs, keeping in mind that I'm the worst packer in the world. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get that out of the way. Okay, so I went and I, I told you, I created outfits, so, um, and then I got some new stuff in, so I'm gonna try that on, and yeah, I'll show it to you. Um, and then you may see it in another video before you see it here. This is by Mason Gray, which I'm obsessed by their pajamas. So this is a cami, it's like a, a midi cami, and a matching robe um, because it has pockets, so I love that. So that's going in. I'm just gonna pack the stuff that I know that, you know what I'm saying? So, and then um, obviously panties. Everybody, we need panties. Um, and then um, packing one pair of, these ones are Zella leggings, and one little tank top. And then these are, is this what I'm wearing in the light gray today? This is dark gray. These are just lounge pants. So if I just feel like lounge, you know what I mean? I don't really need to explain. Do I need to explain? I don't think so. And then I know for sure that I need these two belts. Um, this is gonna be for, um, or, oh, this is gonna be for that floral skirt. Uh, did I show it to you? Here it is here, I'll show it to you on. I took some pictures on Instagram. This belt's gonna go to a black dress. I don't know if I'll wear the dress, it will depend. I have two outfits, black dress for the Friday night and then this other outfit with the leggings and everything, it's gonna depend on weather. Uh, let me also, on the other side, I'm gonna do the shoes. So I am gonna do the floral shoes. This will go with two outfits, assuming it's not raining. If uh, it's raining, I'm gonna go even, I'm gonna go with a little more closed-toed 
See, this is why I have an issue. I'm seriously, because I just am the worst packer in the world. Um, and then I am gonna go right for sure with a pair of flip-flops. Okay, these are super comfortable. I wore these at Disney and they are phenomenal. So I will carry them in a backpack, both from Kendra Scott. Let me zoom you in. This pair here, um, seriously obsessed. Look at those colors, so cute. So I'm thinking about this dress right here is a shirt dress from Memorial Day. I'm thinking about doing that or this jumper. Um, blue with then wearing these cute little white earrings. Then the other um, item that I got was this necklace that I'm obsessed. How cute is this? Right, adorable. Um, so I'm gonna bring that, I don't even know. It doesn't matter because I'm wearing a lot of black <laughs> going on down here, right? Um, so I only have like maybe another hour and a half before, only have like another hour and a half before Matthew comes home. And um, I do have a lot of aviators, but typically I will bring a black pair from a uh, key. And then um, I also have like a two-tone brown pair that, I, that, I, that I'll bring. I may bring these though. I kind of really like these, but I have to see, again, it's supposed to rain. So um, I'm not gonna like load up, but I thought these were really cute for summer so I did pick up a new cute little handbag I wanted to do a crossbody so it actually comes with two straps and I like the guitar strap the best it's black and white so it's gonna go um, really really cute look how cute this is so let me just put this on here so you guys can see and what I like about this is that it's a crossbody one because and it's not too big um, and it has like a little pouch in, inside so you can put all of your you know stuff that you need to and it comes with this cute little this is right off of Amazon I love Amazon so much you guys um, this cute little scarf that I thought was so pretty and so cute for spring so I have to iron that but it you know just tie it on to the here let's let's just put it together here um, tie it onto the handle look how cute that is Oh, come on. And then I also pulled out, I just got a pair of a Converse that are the platform. Um, these are so cute. So this one right here, I'm gonna look to see if I can wear it with the platform. Maybe a little bit too long, that's why I have to try it on, it's been a while. Um, or I'll wear this. I think that'll be really cute for Memorial Day. We're early the day before we leave. So we leave tomorrow. And I'm packing Matthew's suitcases. <laughs> and I got him this little kit, how cute is this, right off of Amazon, so it's got like deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, body wash, and then I have to do derma flash. I'll probably do that, I'll do that this evening because then I can just lay with my City Beauty face mask. Um, can we, you? I found this one in my shoe cruise. Huh, were you gonna go with us? And then I put a little bed in here for June because she was like constantly laying on the floor in here. So it's kind of too small for her, but she makes do. We got the kitchen all clean. Yay. So we're just gonna keep it clean. Self tanner that I used for the big one. And then I will today and do the Josie Maran. So I'll pull that out. And then this is what I will take with me. So it's a 15, but it has an S pack of it. Laundry. I'm in here, I'm gonna grab this stuff for um, keeping us safe, basically. Microband. Hand sanitizer. Wet wipes. My favorite, these are the KF94s. These are the best masks. I'm gonna go ahead and just fill things up.
Okay you guys, so these are some of the things that I got in. Has nothing to do with the trip necessarily. The cute throw moto jacket on, um, a pair of heels, and this would be really cute, or sandals. So, man, it is really cute. Okay, so I haven't put this jumper on in like three years, and I've gained 10 pounds in three years, and oh yeah, see that? Way too tight. Uh, not to mention I wouldn't be able to wear flats, which would be the whole purpose of this jumper. Um, so this is definitely a no. Um, pretty ticked off, actually, because <laughs> I used to fit in those. Okay, here was the second choice, which it's going to be interesting because the way that this video is going to go is I'm showing you what I'm packing, and I'm going to tell you what I think that I'm wearing, and then I'm actually show you what I wore. <laughs> so it would be interesting. Red shirt dress, very, very, very cute. Linen, adorable. Um, I actually have it in two colors, so this this particular day is for Memorial Day day um, that I'm trying to find an outfit. So let me move you down so you don't need to see my no makeup face. Um, so really cute, see how nice, it's just a classic shirt dress and I thought that I would wear the platform, um, I don't have them all the way on, platform Converse, I thought those would be really cute. Okay, another dress that just came in, which is not gonna work, and number one reason is it's too low cut. So you can see all the indentation where breast tissue no longer exists. Plus, it just is weird. It just, look at this. It like gathers right here because there's a lining, but it's as if they didn't do it correctly. It had potential. Because I wanted to wear it, how cute, with the little quirks, right? It's like total throwback, but it just fits off the wall bizarre. It had good potential, but I have better black dresses, so. Okay, I thought I'd show you the black one. Now, I left this unbuttoned because you could put like a cami, really cute one, and leave it more like, you know, like a just kind of open and a little bit of lace. Um, but I wanted to show it with the little quirky sandals. I'm not sure how I feel about it the stability of these, I really don't. I little heels and this one, for sure. Oh, love it. Okay, a couple other things that I picked up, not for this trip, but this little orange top that took 100 freaking years to get here. It's too big, but super cute. Um, it's a linen, so look how long it is. So obviously, it's a little too big because of this, I can't, I can't work with that. Um, so I'll have to trade it in for a smaller size. But look how cute the earrings are from Kendra Scott that I matched. They would go beautiful. Like, so cute. Yeah, okay, jeans. Uh, these are Hudson, um, and I'm gonna tell you, these are $195 jeans, ne never in a million years. Not when my wit and wisdom are so amazing, and these do not fit, no, not the correct way. Not like my wit and wisdom, so. Okay, so I thought I'd show you the purse that I bought the other day that I uh, that I briefly showed you, but I thought I'd show you with an outfit. All right, so first night, uh, we were leaving here about one o'clock, town cars picking us up. And then we should get to New York at around 2.30, 3 o'clock. And by the time we check in, we have reservations at 4.30, um, at an outdoor restaurant and then um, at a restaurant near Empire State Building and then 630 reservations for the Empire State Building. So it is going to be rainy. This is the little lace cami. Love this. Very sexy. So when I am at dinner and it say it is warm, warmer and I don't need, you know, a sweater, then I can have that. These are the jeggings. Love these from Boston Proper. And then this jacket. Oh my god, I just picked this up. Oh, look at this purple. Stunning, stunning, stunning. It's a wrap sweater, so it's gonna keep me warm going up to the Empire State Building. You know, it might be a little chilly up there, so I thought this would be perfect. Jewelry that I'm gonna wear with that is um, uh, this necklace here, which is just a layered black necklace, and these Kendra Scott earrings, which are I'm obsessed by. Okay. For some reason, in case something happens where that restaurant is a bust, um, and we are going to eat at uh, we're going to eat at the restaurant at the hotel. It's a super nice, fancy one. I'm going to wear this particular dress with that big chunky silver belt, flower heels. So this is the backup. Okay, so we're gonna put that. On. 
bag. And then with that, a moto jacket, okay? Now, the second day is horse-drawn carriage, tavern on the green. That is my Carrie Bradshaw moment. So we are doing this floral skirt. I'll either do a simple tank, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Love this. This is the one that I showed on Instagram. And then moto jacket, okay? And then with this, I'm going to go very simple with these little earrings right here. Aren't those pretty? They've got the brown, the black. You can't ask for anything more. Um, it's day two. Next day, br uh, we're doing the a brunch, uh, Upper West Side, and then Natural Museum of uh, History. I'm gonna do the black dress. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that that's the way I'm gonna go uh, because then we're gonna go through the museum, but I have a backup option too. So I'm either gonna do the black dress, I'm taking it with me, so I think it's really cute, it's super comfortable, fancy enough for a brunch, and yet then transitions to walking through a museum and you know your feet being comfortable. So this is definitely going. Now, my backup, in case I'm feeling like I wanna do, wanna do pants and a little, so this is that little tulip crop that I love. And these are those flowy pants. Uh, so this is gonna go um, and, and it goes. How I feel like dressing this stuff up. So I'm gonna bring these two bangles. I'm gonna bring these earrings that match this bangle. I'm going to bring these earrings that match everything. <laughs> and then these cute little ones as well. So all of that is going in. Next, last day. Uh, is uh, Memorial Day, so we already talked about it. Definitely doing this dress. This was going to be what I was going to wear also at Tavern of the Green if it rained. You know I should bring it because what if it rains? I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to download what's what I've already been blogging so that I have plenty of room. Hey guys, all right, so it's the day of our trip. It's literally going to pour, but it's also very humid right now and kind of hot. So I got a new pair of jeans that did come in. So let me show you these. I knew these ones, well I was hoping, you know, you can never be too sure. These ones are from Joe's and I do love Joe's. So uh, these are really cute. So slightly distressed uh, jeans, but really cute. Raw hem, nice and long. They fit perfect. Um, and then I just, um, cause it'll just be a little more comfortable in the car. And just uh, the canvas all, this one's really pretty it has the back detail to it. Have the, I have the moto jacket out and I have my favorite express blazer. So I'm probably gonna bring both because unfortunately it's gonna rain tomorrow. I'm gonna wear these, but uh, I could wear these and keep my feet dry. Um, this was the jewelry case. This is a really great jewelry case um, off of Amazon. So, cause you can just hang it up. We've already got all the jewelry. I did find the blue earring, so that's a for sure. We're doing the red dress, white uh, platform converse, and then these cute little blue earrings. <laughs> there we go. So this one I use like, this is like medication, so it's a pulse oximeter, you know, antiseptic, um, what do you call it, thermometer. In here is pretty much all my skincare, false eyelashes, things like that. And then down here is, you know, like deodorant, toothbrushes, uh, COVID tests, and then way down, it has this pocket, way down here, and then that's like bobby pins. And the, the great thing is, is I just bring this, because it's magnetic. So um, I'm probably will be wearing my hair up because of the rain. Then I'm gonna take my Kate Spade. I have not used this one, I love this. This one says, sweetheart. Um, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> I love you, I love you, all in black, and then right down here in red it says I love you. So this is cute. So I've already got um, my medication, it's all portioned out, um, and then I've got my microband because the minute that I walk in the hotel room I'm going to microband the whole thing. 
Um, I've got my AirPods in here, sunglasses, reading glasses, my wallet, um, an umbrella because it's going to rain, my keys, and then these little things here, uh, i got to talk about these. So, if your feet start to hurt or whatever, they're made of a silicone and they just go right over your, uh, your heel. Um, so I throw a pair of those in there. You can wear them with or without socks, which is great. Um, so that's, um, oh, and hand sanitizer, of course, I've got. This is the bottles, so I buy the these ones, and then I fill them up with the big ones. So, um, and then um, also uh, masks. So that's that bag. Those masks are going in there. Now, so I have these, I love these. These are makeup junkie bags. These are my travel bags, if you will. I need to fill the rest of the stuff up makeup wise. I'll probably use this one because my Tati is the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using. St. Cleanse, I got the little sample size. How cute is this? A travel size. Um, Gold Bond Neck and Chest Firming Cream is in here. I've got my little makeup rounds. Uh, Juno, which is the cleanser that I use. Um, every day. I refilled the little miniature Tatcha, so that's great. Save space. Uh, the skin lifting booster, which I can add to the moisturizer, which is <laughs> works great. Um, this is the retinol and vitamin C. Again, two things in one. My beautiful multitaskers. Lid lifting eye treatment. Can't go anywhere without that. So those are, that's so far what I have in there. With regards to like the hair, I have my deodorant, Sensodyne, new toothbrushes, hair tie, um, COVID tests, and that's kind of it. Oh, and then Coco Star under eye patches. Um, as I'm using this stuff, I'm putting it in where it needs to be. Was I was doing towels and the towel caught my finger. And then so this is, these are the nails that I chose. I thought they were really pretty. Kind of natural, you know. This one has a little bit of bling, but otherwise it looks, they look like a, like a French manicure. Uh, I'm taking my Tati palette. I know it's not available, but the palette will work really, really well because it has some um, very spring colors, it has some neutral browns, and then it also has the best black to do a really dark look, which is what I'm planning on doing this evening. I've decided to go with the beachy wave. You know, I may even do space buns. Oh, you haven't seen that. Yeah, you have. You will have seen that video, my hair video. Um, because it was so cute, so I'm thinking I might do that on day three. This is day one. I'm gonna try and stick with just the style. But I've decided to wear. So these are the Joe's jeans, love them. They just have a mild distressing. Uh, you know I'm obsessed by the boots, because um, it is gonna rain. But it's sort of a little hot, so I do have this little lace cami, and then uh, the uh, Blink NYC moto jacket. Got a couple little cute necklaces. This is my D. I can never like organize this. And this is this new black heart that I love. Oh my god, I'm obsessed by that. Um, ignore the beat. This is what I went through. Yay! <laughs> Anyways, off to New York City, guys. That is what I have planned for each of the day. Uh, so stay tuned for part two, which will be up tomorrow. Uh, so you'll be able to see it. You don't have to wait or anything like that. I just didn't want it to be this long drawn out thing because uh, I really wanted uh, to, to show you my view of New York and what we did. The point of doing this was to see if I would actually did I, one, did I overpack, and two, did I wear the clothes that I thought I would wear? And I really wanted to try and pull off some New York style, my version of what New York style would be. Of course, I still had to be comfortable. All right, well, anyways, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, see the second one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.